the return of ballistic logistics, the best parenting resource, and the game gist of the list. Let's go! Welcome to What's Up Weekly, where it's Tuesday, November 12th, and today is the National Day of French Dip. Um, and apparently our producer didn't know that French dip is actually a sandwich. Poor Riley. I That's know. okay. Poor guy. Have you enjoyed a good French dip sandwich? I have, yeah. Red Robin is the best place that I've had a French dip sandwich. Very I've good. always gotten a burger there, mm -hmm. but I have gotten French dip at Applebee's. Oh. Very impressed. Good. I'm very happy yeah. with that. Yeah. Next we want to go into our ballistic logistics segment. Last week we just kept our logistics normal. This week we're going to ratchet it up a notch. Okay. This way each of us has some logistics to share. They have. 30 seconds to share all the information. If that person goes over the 30 seconds, they will lose a point from their all-time standings. Gotcha. This week, Caleb does not have any logistics. That's okay. None for me. We'll share some from the student ministry side, and I will do my best to communicate all the info in under 30 seconds. Okay. Pat, okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your time starts now. All right. There's no youth group or Awana on Wednesday, November 27th. That's the night before Thanksgiving. Enjoy the night with your family. And then our next youth event is our Christmas party on Saturday, December 14th. That'll take place from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Terrell's home in Xenia. There will be no transportation, so make sure to carpool, get your own ride. We do ask that every student bring a gift for the gift exchange that's between $5 and $10. We ask that girls bring a pasta dish, guys bring a dessert to share, and register online. See you on the 14th. Wow, very good. 27 seconds. Three to spare. Three to Keep spare. Keep that point. Barely. Which I shall get back today. We'll see. In the game segment. All right? Okay, All we'll right. see. Sounds good. Next, we're going to move into our parenting and discipleship segment where we want to share some just encouragement and um, parenting tips to you. For today's parenting and discipleship segment, we're going to take some time to feature the best parenting resource there is, yep. which is the Word of God, also known to kids everywhere as the, the Bible. Bible. Or the Bible. The yep. Bible, either way. Um, John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Um, this, this book is, is a great guide for everything in life, including parenting. Mm -hmm. um, you want a manual to, to live your life by, look no further than the Bible. Um, the challenge today, parents, and this goes for myself included, sure. is to not only just read the Bible, like in your daily devotions, but to actually study the Bible, to dig into it, to look at the connections between the story you're reading, uh, the connections in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and how the story plays into the overarching kind of story of the Bible and the Gospel. Um, I feel like sometimes we get so fascinated and excited with the latest trends, the latest uh, what, what, whatever's hot, basically. Sure. And so just trying to understand that this book um, is inerrant and perfect and has everything that we need. Um, Romans 10, 17 says that faith comes through hearing and hearing through the word of the Lord. So parents, if your children's salvation is something that you are passionate for and, and, would, and would like to see, um, read the Bible to them. Read the Bible yourself. Help them memorize it. Um, just read the stories in it and just rely on the sovereignty of God for that. But we're going to, in this series, talk about a lot of resources. Oh, yeah. So a lot of them are great and have a lot of merit. But the Bible is, is obviously the ultimate authority in our lives that can help with just everything we need. Absolutely. I hear you say that, and I think of how when I'm studying God's Word, it's more natural for me to bring that up in conversation with other people. Yeah. As opposed to when I'm not studying God's Word regularly, right. it feels forced. So yeah. by studying God's Word, I'm sure that the Lord will just bring up more avenues for you to talk about what you're reading, what you're learning with your kids um, at home, in the car, anything like that. Yep, it's great. So, absolutely. Lastly, we want to switch gears into our game segment, and this week we will be playing Gist of the List. In the game Gist of the List, we each have to come up with a list. Today's list is the top 15 sandwiches in the United States. Okay. So our producer Riley will give us 60 seconds for us to write down on our whiteboards, then he will read off the top 15. Whoever gets the most correct is the winner. If there's a tie, we'll settle it. It'll be rock, paper, scissors. And our producer is generous, has given us a freebie, and that is the French dip sandwich is on the list. Got so one. don't forget it. All right, I got okay. one. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. On your mark. Get set. Go.
Alrighty. Oh. All right. And I gotta erase that one. I didn't get it. Either. I got fourteen. I only got eleven. Let's okay. See if they're... Riley. <sighs> Reuben. French dip. Meatball sub. Egg salad. <sighs> Tuna. Oh, I pulled did. pork. Oh. PB and J. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Bacon. Oh. oh Club. I got that one. BLT. I I. Mm. Ham. Roast beef, turkey, grilled chicken, and grilled cheese. Oh man, really? Philly cheesesteak wasn't on there? Wow. Or cheeseburger? Or a hoagie? Or an Italian? I had a hoagie too. Caleb, final count? Uh, one, two, three, four, six. Pat, and I, I got six. six as well. Oh, isn't that fitting? Snap, I think so. Rock, paper, scissors. All right. Rock, paper, scissors on, on shoot. shoot. Ready? Ready. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. Okay, I got it. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Hey! Second point. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya.